I don't try to get too much into like what happens if I win because then I have to get into what happens if I lose and so I try to just like focus on and I think if you get too oriented on that like winning losing getting stuff you miss stuff of your life which is the things you actually do you know for me like making the movies getting to meet the people that's the real uh, I know it sounds like a cliche but that is the real reward but with this one they let all the nominees give speeches and so I've never been nervous about what if I say when I get up there because I just say what I want to say. Now that I'm supposed to write a speech, I wrote like 10 different versions. They all seem bad to me. I was like, I know, you know, Steven Spielberg's going to give a speech and then I have to give one. That's, you know, i got to live up to that and uh, it's very intimidating. Well, I'm presenting to Tom Hooper, the director of Les Miserables, and this is his second DGA nomination. Uh, and he's not even 40. It's kind of irritating. Uh, but I'm thrilled Annie Hathaway and myself are going to do it. I, I don't think I know anyone who's worked as hard as Tom. He is genuinely brilliant, a visionary, and I'm so thrilled he's been recognised here tonight. Also, I love this evening because every nominee gets presented with a medallion for being nominated by their cast. So I've got Hugh Jackman and Anne Hathaway who are going to present to me. And so you'll get your moment. Um, and it treats the nomination as, a, as an award in itself and doesn't place all the emphasis on the winner, which, uh, as far as I'm concerned, is a good thing. <laughs> You know, all the nominees have already won, and I, I'm so proud of this film, and the audience has embraced it, so it's so gratifying that I think that's, that's the win. This is a director's medium, and um, your performance is really in the hands of the, these men and women, and um, I respect them greatly. I want to become one of them. Well, if you're talking about having a creative vision, and you're, and you're creating a film, the guy in charge of that is the director. That's just the way it is. I mean, they either enhance great performances, and sometimes, sometimes you can get in the way of a great performance. But it is ultimately their product. Well, I think Ben is in a winning streak. I think maybe he will win. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, you know, I think Catherine Bigelow is great. I think Steven Spielberg is amazing. I think Quentin T Tarantino is incredible. Paul Thomas Sanders is a fabulous director. Uh, Alejandro Gonzalez in Aritu is amazing. Terrence Malick, um, Scorsese, uh, 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 naturally. I mean, one of the nice things about. America is that we have so many great directors making movies here, so um, I just, we're very lucky.